Hello, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another In the Kitchen with Carla video which could also be entitled I'm pretty sure she's making this up as she goes along. Not only did I make the recipe up as I went along but I'm also pretty much making the voiceover up as I go along because I recorded this video maybe three weeks ago, popped the files into the Mac and forgot to do the editing and the voiceover. So now not only do I have to remember what ingredients I used, but I also have to try and fit my vague memories of what ingredients I used into the actual footage that I have. So here I am in my kitchen sharpening a knife. There you go, I can see that I'm sharpening a knife, that works reasonably well. I can uh, I can tell you what I'm doing there, no problems so far. We are cooking with gas, except we're not because I have electric. What we're making in this video is a stuffed courgette recipe. I got the courgettes from Costco. Costco do really nice fruit and veg, but it's not particularly cheap, but the courgettes were on offer. So I bought the bag of courgettes, and then I thought, what am I gonna do with these large courgettes? I thought I would try stuffed courgettes, and they were a triumph. Even if I say so myself, I shouldn't. They were an absolute triumph. So I sliced them down the middle, and then put them into a ceramic roasting dish at first, thinking that would work nicely with the intention of roasting them off and then scooping out the insides. And then I discovered they wouldn't fit in there. So off I went to get my big baking tray. Sliced all the courgettes in half and laid them out on their on their backs, you know, like boats basically, You're making courgette boats. Laid them out on their backs into the baking tray. I then gave them a blast with some low-fat cooking spray and seasoned them with a grinding of sea salt and a sprinkle of garlic granules. I've got the oven turned to a medium heat um, it's very difficult to say what was medium heat, but you know your oven better than I do. And then they're going to go into the oven to roast while I concentrate on making the filling. To stuff these courgettes, I'm using a bag of frozen chicken mints, which I got from Iceland. We've never tried chicken mints before, but it is lower in fat than beef mints or pork mints, so that's why we thought we'd try it. I felt that it would need some help with flavourings. I felt the chicken mince wasn't going to be very strongly flavoured which is why I wanted to do this particular dish with it. What you can see there is a sweet potato and what I'm going to do with that is just dice it into very small cubes. I didn't peel it, I left the skins on because sweet potato skin is full of fibre and goodness. So I just sliced it and diced it into small cubes and then I did the same with a red onion. Those have gone into another metal tray and again, I'm going to give them a spray with the low-fat cooking spray and they're going to go into the oven. Now in my deep pan on a medium heat, I've got a bag of chicken mince. I've added to that a kind of a handful of frozen peppers and a really decent squirt of tomato puree and I'm stirring it all around. And I'm looking at this and I'm thinking it still needs a bit more, it still needs more flavour, there's not going to be enough flavour in this. And so I added about two thirds of a packet of taco, whatever it is they put in taco kits, what do they put in taco, is it taco salsa? I don't even know what it is, but whatever you get in a taco kit, I had a taco kit on the side, I'd used the boats for something else, and so I put about two thirds of a packet of the salsa mix thing into this. All that was left then was to keep on stirring until I was happy that the mince was cooked through. And then I got my courgettes out of the oven. And as you can see, they are just kind of lightly roasted. Checking with a knife to make sure that they are cooked through. And then I began to scoop out the insides. And I scooped out the insides. I found them very difficult to handle first because they were hot. So I tried with the tongs, but in the end, I think I ended up holding them in a tea towel, which made it a lot easier. Scooped out the insides with a teaspoon. And I added this stuff that I was scooping out of the insides back into my pot with my chicken mixture because you, you don't want to throw that goodness away. You want all of that, all of that filling to go back in. And then after I'd finished scraping out the insides of the courgette boats, I also added into my chicken mixture pot my roasted sweet potato and red onion. And I mixed up all of the contents of the pot together really, really well so that it's properly combined. And then I went back to my ceramic dish. Do you remember this ceramic dish that we started off with in the beginning that was too small? It's okay now because the courgettes take a lot, a lot less space once they are limp. <laughs> so now I'm filling each courgette skin and then squashing them back into this dish together. And this is where editing me realises that you really could have done with a different camera angle for this since you actually cannot see what's happening at all. But you'll just have to use your imaginations. 
Once I had finished filling all of the skins, I had a little bit of mixture left over and I just kind of squashed that in over the top. And then to finish off, I'm sprinkling on grated mature cheddar cheese and grated mozzarella cheese. And then that went under the grill for the cheese to melt while I made a side salad. And here comes the finished dish with beautiful melted cheddar and mozzarella all over the top. I have to say, I surpassed myself with this one. I don't consider myself to be a great cook, but sometimes I do something that works. And Anthony and I both said that if we had been served this in a restaurant, we would have been perfectly happy with it. So I was, I was really pleased with this one. Thank you for joining me for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Take care. Mm -hmm.